Let's see. They have the same symbols, right? Circle, circle. I don't know. Galaga, Galaga. Mountain, mountain, square, square. Yeah, they totally match. So all that matters is this thing. It means something. Right. I get mixed up because this looks like the Roman numeral three, but that's the number one. Of course. Like, that one is tree. Sure. There isn't a tree, though. Like, there actually isn't a tree here. There's the mushroom. And you're probably two. You're the square, and there's no square there. Three is the mountain, and there's no mountain there. Four is the smaller square. There kind of is one there. I don't think it is, though. I don't know. I'm, there is kind of one there. I'm not sure. I don't know what all the sides are of the square ones. This, this one's the circle. There's a circle there. Last one's a mushroom. There's no mushroom there. Huh. What do you mean? It can almost be a key of, like, what order to press them in? Like, if this is one, that'd be six. Like, and you'd go in a circle, right? Because that's it's already going in this direction. Which one is just... The problem is I don't know what that symbol is. Should I have taken a- I, I, maybe I should have taken four pictures of this thing so I could see all four sides of each one. Are there any trees? There's a tree here. There's a tree there. I think those are the only trees in the entire screen. What does it mean, though? I'm thinking of applying the same logic as before. Because the last one was just about, like, what was missing from each one. Hmm. Because there is specifically certain things missing from certain ones. The issue is that there's six buttons, but there's only four symbols. They did put the number one on the first button, though. So if I count that as part of the sequence, that might help. It's like this one doesn't have a circle. So that's one, two, three, four, six. So do you start by pressing one? Then of this sequence, this is one, two, three, four, six, right? So five's missing. So press five. And this one is... So one and five wouldn't count at this point because they've already been pressed. This one has five. Let's have that. There's a one. It doesn't have a big square in the middle. As far as- I think there's ones that are offset are the one that's the small square. Yeah. I think this one tends to look more like a weird, like, wall design from, like, Prey. Like, those kinds of art deco designs. But I have- I took a picture on the- on the specific side that looks the most like a weird little square. And that feels like the focus when it's not. 
So Art Deco's there, Tree is there, and Mountain's there. So Tree, uh, Tree, Mountain, Art Deco are all there. Circle's already been pressed. So it's missing... It's missing... It's missing the square. Uh, it's missing big square and it's missing something else, isn't it? The mushroom. I don't see a mushroom. How do I know whether it's six or two? Because that's the tree, which is the first one. It's that design. I don't see a mushroom here. Maybe this whole idea is bad. I don't know, let's just test it out, I guess. The big square is missing, so let's try two, which is the big square icon. Alright, so that's Art Deco, Circle... There's two mushrooms here this time. So it's not six. It's not five. Not six, five, or four. That's, that's six, five, and four. So it can't be any of these ones, so it has to be three. This one has six. So it's not six. It has circle and square. The circle is five. The square is two. So four. And then six. Oh shit. Why'd that work? Why'd that work? That puzzle seemed like it. Okay. Well. <laughs> I thought I was doomed because I was pretty sure that I was this that my whole idea didn't work because in on like the second button it seemed like there wasn't an answer anymore. But then it worked anyway. So maybe I was right for the wrong reasons, I don't know. Did I not actually solve it and just guessed into the right answer without well coincidentally cuz I didn't guess randomly. So I'm wondering, like, did I have a fake solution that had the same input as the real solution or something? Well, are those, like, tiles or something? Because, like, they're rigid. This is so much gold, by the way. Let me guess, if we grab a single one, we got locked in here. <laughs> See the journey up there, let me in. Platforming! Platforming! Little box. There we go. Click that shit. And then there was seven. Whoop! Definitely easier to go down than up. A warp. Oh, and that takes me back to the beginning. That'll take me back to the the museum. I don't want to go back to the museum, though, because there's a, uh... The vault is, right straight ahead from here. And there's also no reason to be in the museum again. Alright. Huh. So you died. You look like you're covered in a carpet? Did you die while, like, longingly stroking that thing? Like, oh, my amazing hall. Or did you die so severely of a curse that you couldn't save yourself? Like, did he grab something and something happened to him? Probably gonna find out from his journal. I'm just thinking like, on one hand, there's like the off, there's like a curse or a trap of your greed, where you go into this this vault with so much treasure, but the moment you pick any of it up, it locks you in and you die, which is, you know, it's tropey but fun, sure. 
why not put it in here, have like a pharaoh's vault that kills anyone who goes inside. But linking books, right? <laughs> kind of undoes that idea. And there's one right here. So it could have gotten out. So I'm wondering if this place actually specifically and directly killed him as opposed to locking him in. Or maybe he was just old and he was dying regardless and just decided to die with his treasure. Maybe he didn't break in at all. Maybe it was just his stuff. Could he, could he ever realize such failure? What kind of end is this? Impossible, unless... Great. It's in Denis. <laughs> huh. I'm not in the mood for doing a translation that big. But the resources... I, well, no, the resources for translating the language, have they been given yet in this game? I should recheck that school to see if they've given me the resources or not. Because if they have given me the resources to translate this, I might just look up a translation to save everybody the trouble, uh, including myself. Because at that point, it's not a puzzle, it's just do the grunt work of matching the symbols for a very long time. Uh, but I'll double check to see if it's given, although I think since it was given in Mist 4, uh, it probably doesn't matter either way. For now, though, let's, uh, let's get to Yisha. I can come back later. Same thing goes for that one we saw in the school, where it was just this nightmarish... That one was even longer, wasn't it? I don't remember. I've been busy since then. That was during the initial exploratory fe uh, phase. Where I, now I've been actually going through the levels and remembering that phase is a little harder now. Why are these why these halls have to be full of creepy sounds? Why do you gotta do that to me? You return again. Return to hear more. Return for a third pillar. It's an interesting cycle, this coming and going, giving and taking. Returning is what you must do. For you have torn in half the very being of one of the least. You have heard their pain. Don't falter. The bones of Guildmaster Kadish speak louder than words. His bones are the bones of Denis. He clung to the teachings of good King Nagin, who required good citizens to cling to their treasure. This Kadish you have seen would not give back, would not return, would not let go. He had long been one of the wealthiest of the Denis, owning more than he could possibly make use of. He built ages to protect the extra, and when the fall came, he clung to his possessions over all else. And so you see only death in his fault. Extravagant death. It is an image of Denis. The people of Denis didn't return easily. They only would take until all was taken from them in the great returning, the fall that destroyed them. Denis fell only a few hundred years ago. All of it was removed. And my journey was similar. I could write things that no Denis had ever dreamed of. My writing smashed barriers held as absolutes for millennia. I could change things. I could move things. I could control things. I learned beyond my parents. I learned beyond all. I rode ages against any challengers, masters of the art, and they were beaten. I took all that I could hold. Only death can conquer pride so strong. For the Denis and for Yusha, it was death that moved me to return. All died. All but the least. The unproud. The Baro considered themselves as dead already. And so they continued to watch Denis, always ready to give more away. And now they will return. Definitely wondering a little bit, what do I do, though, in this game? We'll see. 
We'll see what comes of me claiming these pillars. Unless I am really just here to hear the story and share it. Woo! That would, oh, would be so terrifying. Never. Never, 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 never do that. <laughs> huh, it's not switching me to third person when I jumped in there or when I came back like it did last time. The setting didn't change, did it? Nope. I don't know. It's just not switching me back out. Maybe it's just not scripted for that particular chapter for some reason? We have one chapter to go, out of those at least, the pillars. Maybe they combine to open up some other thing when you're done. There is clearly a slot here, and here for that matter. You'd almost be able to, you'd expect to be able to go back to the cleft via there or something, but there's no book there, spacing wise. Is that the library? That is the library. The library is contained in this chapter. If he wanted his stuff so badly, why'd he leave weird puzzle clues about how to steal it from him? This seems like a weird strategy to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> It wasn't even hard. Like, it was kind of like... Children's puzzles. It was just like a weird amount of... Locking us away, like, You'll never get my treasure! <laughs> and this trat have been fooled by the cast of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, there's the note I was curious about before. Only use our linking books. We've got a stamp. So yeah, technically I think they they haven't given me uh, a translation in this game yet. It'd be great if I found out that like, there's a, you get a translator as a device. That'd be nice. But maybe these are just for mega nerds. Like super missed fans that are obsessive enough to translate a lot. But that would, that takes a little while. Or god forbid if you're somebody who's looked at it so much that you actually memorize the entire alphabet and can just read that fluidly like Klingon. Oh, there it is. That's the alphabet. So you, we do have it. You just have to translate it one to one. That's like the same symbol three times. Oh, I mean that one has a dash on top, but like that, those two are the same symbol. And those two are the same symbol. Right, we ran, we ran into this problem before, and those two are- those- those three are basically the same single symbol. That one's got like a little head, and that one's more like a swoosh. So that's the same symbol, that's the same symbol. Yeah, I remember when I tried to translate it in Mist 4, uh, I, th if, I think there was, like, repeating characters. It's the same problem that happens with the Hylian language. When you translate the Hylian language, it's like it's English, but some of the Hylian letters mean two different things. You just have to kind of guess which one it is. Huh. But yeah, there, yeah, there it is, though. That's the, that's the tools you need to, to read that, I believe. I wonder if I can find a translated version for our for all of our sakes. All right, first up we got this mess that says, could he, ev could he ever realize such failure? What kind of end is this? Impossible, unless... And it's like, what does the note say? Well, it says this stuff, apparently. Which I'm like, holy shit, there's three translations? The old transliteration standard, the revised transcription standard, and the new transliteration standard. And I'm like, holy shit, man. This is... This is a deep well we're going down. 
And the uh, translation sounds like it's approximate at best, even for fans. So that's fun. It's like, I have met my end. Mortality overwhelms me. I see its shadow. It is waiting. And mm, something ing for my soul to depart. It's acquisitions surpass my own. There are linking books here, but I will not depart. I have decided. I am here. I am here will all that I would desire. With all that I would desire? No one can take it from me. I will die here with them. This place is hidden and will remain hidden. These words are found anyway. If these words are found anyway, remember that I did not surrender. I did not die with nothing. I died with everything. Look at my possessions. They belong to me and will be with me forever. Peace, Guildmaster Kadish. So basically, no, no major reveal. Uh, if you just went by what Yisha seemed, I think that's Yisha because it's her writing. Uh, wrote before on it, like that text pretty much just gave away like uh, that. Oh, she most likely just decided to die with his treasure, and this is just the first person account of him basically just saying that yeah, he died with he just died with his treasure. He just stayed there to die, I guess, because his life was ending already. So is that version of the story? And it makes sense, because the Linking Book, I guess, would only point outward, so there was no way to get into it via the Linking Book, just out via the Linking Book. So he knew he knew the Linking Book was there, but he didn't plan on using it. He locked himself in his own vault, and he could have left if he wanted to, but he just waited for his life to end while, like, reaching for one of the pieces of treasure, seemingly. Unless he was so weak at the last moment that he decided to use the... that he couldn't reach the Linking Book when he decided he wanted to use it again or something. I don't know. Basically, just somebody dying a natural death, it seemed. And, but they chose to do it amongst all their treasures. They're completely pointless treasures that don't really amount to much. Uh, I think when you're locked in a vault like that, I think your corpse might be a little grosser than that. I don't know, maybe there's a leak. Maybe there's an opening in the vault somewhere where, like, wildlife can get in and eat everything off of him, and that's why he was a skeleton. I'm just thinking, like, I think... I think you get more... I think you end up as being, like, more of, like, a gross puddle. <laughs> like, if there isn't any natural elements to, like, take away your remains to some extent. It's pretty gross. Uh, but yeah, not, not really a reveal there. It's just what we figured, more or less. Then we have this document. That's all scribbled up and, yeah. Or it's, it's crumpled up and it's sitting there. Uh, it's It seems to be some kind of poem. There's the text. There's the three versions of translation again. Interesting to find out what that, what the reason for that is. I wonder if the game itself revised that. It might have been that they had one interpretation of what they thought it said, and then that maybe the, uh, maybe they updated the text itself in the game so that new translations were necessary, or maybe it's just a very I don't know linguists. Maybe they just keep having updated theories on how to read it and how to translate it. It is time. It is time for the oppressed ones to take control of Dene. It is time for the oppressors to take to be taken from. It is time for the poor ones to be heard. It is time for the upper classes to be ignored. It is time for the lowest ones to be raised. It is time for the highest ones to be lowered. It is time for us to come. It is time for them to be. It is time for change. We will not be pacified. We will not hear the words. They do not have the right to rule us. They do not have the means to control us. They will learn what we cannot be. They will know that that we cannot be. It is time. So this is about the lower class rising up. And it's probably a symbol of the... It probably represents the fall of the, the Denis that Yisha keeps talking about, and it probably also explains the condition that much of the city is in, where it seems to be like it may have been destroyed or damaged in some way. 
And like like that like that device in the corner that's got a flickering hologram that seems like it could have worked once upon a time and stuff like that. Uh, it seems like they had a, a conflict on their hands. It's interesting that it's specifically, huh? It's laying on the table in a classroom that has like "go get your key" and stuff like that sitting around. So I can only assume that like. That this is a super old document from this organ, this uh, this culture and society that fell hundreds of years ago, and then they set up this like museum in the ruins of the fallen culture. So like you go in there and this the hologram of the DRC that's new, and the notes like go get your key in this place and stuff like that are all new for like the tourism and stuff like that. But this document would be from before, significantly older than that. Uh, and so, like, I guess there must have been like this was like a, a classroom back then. But then they, 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 I wonder if they held a meeting. They might have held a meeting in that classroom, where they gave a speech about rising up against the, against the uh, system. That might have been the room where they organized, and that might be why the document is there. That said, that's a long time for a piece of paper to be around, and this piece of paper doesn't really seem that old. Yeah, it's it's crumpled a bit, but it's perfectly clean looking ish. It looks like the shitty museum paper you see. Like or like for you especially in places where kids are allowed to go, where you have like a historic recreation of an old document where it's just like kind of crumpled brown paper that's pretending to be old, more or less. That might be what the intention of this- this might be a recreation of a document that was put in that room to, to create uh, to finish the illusion so then the tour guide could go around and they could explain what it is and stuff like that. Because a, a, a paper from hundreds of years ago may not be so... It'd probably look a lot older than that, but I don't know. I ain't no paper expert.